chat, it appears the marketing for Overwatch 2 has officially begun. And I'm curious to see if you guys can like help me find like all the stuff you see. So I asked for some yesterday uh, and they and someone tweeted at me. There's a Snapchat ad uh, for Overwatch 2 that was live yesterday. And then also an Instagram ad as well. So I heard there's YouTube ads. I heard there's Twitch ads. Um, I can't see the Twitch ones right now because I'm live. So I don't think that would work. Thank you. YouTube one, I went to look and I got a, a vape ad yesterday, so I kind of gave up on looking. Yeah, if you guys end up seeing cool um, ads for Overwatch 2, tweet them at me, put them in my Discord, something. Find a way for me to see it, and uh, I'd love to look into it. Because a lot of people were really, really panicked about the, the, the marketing for Overwatch 2. I actually don't think that it's the worst to like wait for a week before, because like we live in the age of TikTok at this point. Like really, really short, bursting, high energy um, marketing, I think works better than uh, long term planning, like long term slow marketing. Game Informer article said BlizzVP saying they want to do collabs in Overwatch 2. Can you link me? Anyone have any article havers? Also, by the way, chat, can I just say really fast? Thanks so much for 4,000 subs, chat. I haven't, chat, other than the Brig event, I haven't been over 4K subs since like, fuck, maybe like last year. Uh, because, oh. Nah, that's, that's a fucking joke, right? That's a fucking joke. <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't even, I, didn't, I didn't even know what's going on! Oh my chat. Dude, what the fuck? Oh no. Uh, oh, oh, oh god, it jumped! I was gonna do a slow reveal. Oh man, dude. Oh, no way. <laughs> no! <laughs> listen. I listen. Okay, listen. No meme. I actually this is actually kind of cool. Um I actually think I made this joke forever ago. It would be cool to like see like collabs with Overwatch. I Someone, someone will find it. There's like a video probably like six months ago. I was talking about how cool it would be if they like Overwatch 2 did some collabs. I did not expect the first thing I saw when I clicked on this, on this, uh, it was going to be Hammond fucking hammering on the wrecking ball with fucking Naruto doing a cl uh, shadow clone jutsu, dude. What the fuck? Okay. Overwatch 2 VP interested in exploring brand collaborations cites Fortnite Naruto crossover exclusive e interview chat if you can't play Moira and use a Kamehameha are you really playing Moira I don't know during our recent interview with Overwatch's vice president John Spector we asked the, ex the executive a few additional questions about developing sustainable revenue streams for free to play games Titles like Fortnite and Warzone have popularized collaborations with major brands like Dragon Ball Super, Attack on Titan, and Snoop Dogg. By the way, dude, I'm going to be Armored Titan Ryan, dude. You're all getting fucking slammed. So, I was curious if the Overwatch team would consider it. Uh, we've had some really fun examples out there of games working with other brands and other games. Spectre says, I'm a big anime nerd myself. Hey, John, John, you didn't have to tell anybody that. We knew, buddy. We fucking knew. I think it's super cool when I see Naruto appear in Fortnite. I don't even play Fortnite, but that's awesome. <laughs> if you look at the Overwatch 2 space, those are things that we're interested in exploring. If and when we do that, one of our key values is to do it in a way that it's like a great fit for the Overwatch franchise. He continues, so we've been focused- Oh, hang on, sorry, let me pause alerts. I'll, I'll, I'll replay it, I'm sorry. Um, he continues, so we've been focused on those collaborations and stuff we might be interested in doing. Unless on the ads in our game type stuff. Yes! Let's go, please. I'm not. Hey, keep the ads to a minimum, bro. Hey, ads kind of cringe. I'm a Twitch streamer. I'm forced to run ads now. I fucking hate it. Keep ads to a minimum. You can make money off content. Make money off of doing good things. Don't make money off of, like, just... Okay, so. Anyways. While Overwatch 2's monetization model heavily relies on selling premium battle passes and high-quality cosmetics, Spectre says the team is working to deliver more content for free than ever on a regular and consistent basis to players all over the world. That's probably a true statement because even though in Overwatch 1 we were getting a lot of free content, it was once every four months, so it really wasn't that hard to beat. Uh, specifically, the team is aiming to drop content every nine weeks. 
Each season we will deliver a new theme. Season 1 brings cyberpunk inspired cosmetics along with new characters and maps, sometimes both. We want to be in a position to sustain content and delivery for years to come, says Spectre. And we ask ourselves, how do we align the revenue system in the game against that goal? We always want to make things in the game feel fair and rewarding for players regardless of whether they choose to spend money. And we believe that the best way to support the game on an ongoing basis is to really is a really big shift versus asking players to spend 40 or 60 bucks to come to the door and having different monetization models after that. Chat, who do you want to see? Who do you want to see? Do you want to see The Rock Doomfist? <laughs> Batman Widow? Uh, where, Snoop, dude, where would Snoop Dogg go? <laughs> like, what, what is wrong with you guys? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna unpause the alerts. I'll play replay ogres. I spend so much money for a Tanjiro Genji skin. A Tanjiro Genji skin. Wait, that'd actually be fire. Among Us Torb? <laughs> what? Um, quick question, chat. Do you guys remember back in like 2016? I think it was, it was like the, it was like Call of Duty Ghosts. It was one of like the. It was like the very like off on its own Call of Duty that like nobody cared about. Um, it was good though, it was a good game, but people didn't really care about it. Um, there was a package you could purchase where Snoop Dogg was your announcer. And it, dude, it was funny as shit, dude. Like you got kills and stuff. He would just like, kind of like, he'd hype you up. Dude, it was fucking lit. It was actually one of the best things ever. And I don't think people talk about it that much. Rack up points by reaching the enemy portal, you dig? It, it was, that was COD Ghost. Yeah, COD Ghost came, I think COD Ghost came after Advanced Warfare. So everyone was like on the like fuck Call of Duty train. So they didn't really play it that much because it didn't look like anything like special, but it was wild, dude. It was so good. Crazy how Advanced Warfare, I got those mixed up. Like Advanced Warfare, I had a better memory of Advanced Warfare because of how bad it was. I did about Ghost. I guess Ghost was really just that not memorable. I don't have a pick, but there was an ad for Overwatch 2 on England's game last night. Interesting. I wonder if we could find it. VTuber skins? So Apex, those who don't know, Apex Legends did a collab with its biggest streamers where they made them into VTubers from Apex. Like, the Apex dev team worked on these VTuber skins as an event with them. It was like a month-long event. It was actually really cool. I'm not gonna lie. It was kind of sick. Like, like, some people were like, VTubing is like crypto or VTubing is like, uh, I don't know who else they had. I remember, like, Crypto was one of them. That was so cool. That was actually so cool. Like, who would have came up with VTubers collab with streamers in, in with Apex? Like, no one would have come up with that. Like, that was so out of left field, but it was genius. The game is fine. Apex has garbage content. I'm actually low-key in agree with, agreement with you. Uh, I, uh, I don't think their skins and stuff are that good. Uh, I don't think they're that good. I'm not a big fan of any of the Apex Legends skins. I've never had, I've never seen an Apex Legends skin. I was like, oh, I need that. Like, I just, I don't think they're that good. But hey, they have the right, their hearts in the right place. Their, their hearts in the right place, and that's where I think Overwatch could fucking kill it because Overwatch's skins make everyone go like, oh, you know, like, can't wait for the Apex. Like, dude, it's over. just like Gibraltar with slightly different colored squares on. <laughs> Like, it's just like, okay, dude, you know, uh, fucking slap a helmet on his head and fucking, you know, make him look like he's sitting in the trenches. Like, oh, okay, dude, yeah, that looks that looks great. You know, like, the only good skins they come up with are, like, these out there ones, like the polar bear skin and stuff like that. Like, those are decent skins, but, like, even those aren't really that good, if that, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm getting off track. Do you think it'd be cool if Overwatch 2 added more weapon skins instead of gold? Absolutely. I think the gold gun system is dog shit. Like, no offense. Like, I, I, gold guns are cool. Um, but, like, they're so outdated. Most players that play a lot already have all of them. Like, it's it's time. It's time to upgrade the game. And to be honest with you, this is just my humble take. My humble opinion is I think that I, I think they're going to do it. I think eventually that weapon skins are something that they are going to do. Um, but the reason they haven't done it already is because they're under such a time crunch to release this game. Like, I think it's an open secret that Overwatch 2 is, like, time crunched. Like, if they if they had the time, they would have probably waited until the PvE was ready and everything else was Like, 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 let's, let's, let's be honest with ourselves. Overwatch 1 was fucking dying, and it was probably dying at an unprecedented rate for them to uncouple the games from Overwatch 1 and Overwatch 2. And... 
that's like got them on the time track where they could push the PvP out faster, and they probably had to crunch it. So something like weapon skins takes some time to develop. Like, you have to make it so that it's not disruptive. You have to make like like there's work that has to be done. You can't just go. El skino o ado, and it just like boom, it just like appears on the skin. Like it don't work like that. Um, so I would I would be surprised if we didn't see at some point uh, weapon skins come to Overwatch. That's not gold guns, you know. Other sites been doing Overwatch collabs for years now. To be honest, wait, what do you mean? Other sites? Oh, those other sites? Oh, Jesus, fuck, Christ! Oh man, I I took the bait. The orange YouTube. Okay, chat. <laughs> 